So I want to do this in my car because it's actually a lot uh, more silent <laughs> than it is outside right now. Uh, and I am kind of in between times uh, between work and picking up my husband. So we're going to do it here instead. And I know I haven't really done book reviews on video, but we're going to do it now. And I'm doing my first book, which is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. And I have only read one other book by Ruth Ware, and that is uh, Turn of the Key. And I hadn't been very familiar with the thriller genre until I read that book. So it's kind of like my entry into that whole world. And so that's why I wanted to read this one. I actually listened to it on audiobook. And I felt like when you're reading thrillers, it's kind of the best way to do it. And also because I'm able to do it really fast at work. So uh, jumping into this book, I thought the premise was really interesting. So it's about a woman who has experienced a kind of a traumatic situation where her home gets burgled while, while her boyfriend is out of town. So she's alone. She kind of keeps reliving the things that happened during the burglary. And it seeps into her subconscious and her dreams. She works for a company that does um, travel reviews and she gets the opportunity to go on a really luxurious cruise liner that's kind of like a small, more private thing. And so she does. Once she gets on the cruise liner, she has some interesting things happen to her. Um, because she's reliving all these things about her traumatic past, she ends up not being able to sleep at night. So she hears from the cabin next door, some things happen. She hears the door open, she hears a scream, and she hears something hit the water outside of her room. And so she is very frightened because she thinks someone just got murdered. So she's trying to figure out who it, who it is that got murdered and she can't find any anything about this person at all ever being on the on the boat so she has to kind of figure that out about the middle of this book is when it kind of fell apart for me because there are just some storylines on the the back end of it that i just i didn't feel like it wrapped up well enough for me so i enjoyed it probably about until halfway through and then I didn't really like it as much. I'm gonna give it a 3.5 stars but other than that I'm not uh, I, I mean I still really like the author. I like what I read but I just this book wasn't the best uh, one that I've read. So uh, comment down below if you like this format or if you like thriller stories in general let me know. Thank you so much for watching.